Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for complex number. So given two complex number, W plus Z is equal to 6 plus 2i. And another situation, W minus 3Z is equal to 20 over 2i. Find the complex number for W and Z. Giving each answer in the form of X plus YI and in polar form. So in here we have two equations where we have w plus z is equal to 6 plus 2i and I name it as the first equation. w minus 3z is equal to 20 over 2 minus i and I name it as the second equation. So in order to find the z, so what we have to do is to simultaneous the equation and we are going to eliminate the w. So the way to eliminate the W will be the first equation minus with the second equation. So where we have W minus W, we will have 0. Then Z minus with the negative 3Z, we will have positive 3Z is equals to 6 plus 2I minus with 20 over 2 minus I. So as a conclusion, we have 4z is equal to 6 plus 2i minus with the 20 over 2 minus i. So the question asks us to express the situation is x plus yi. So my suggestion would be focus on the 20 over 2 minus i. And I'm going to rationalize the denominator where we have to multiply with the conjugate 2 plus i expand the situation so 4z is equal to 6 plus 2i minus with 40 minus with 20i over in this part my suggestion would be apply the formula for a squared plus b squared because we are dealing with the situation multiply of the conjugate for each other so where we have a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 1 so where we have 4 plus 1 so as a conclusion 4z is equals to 6 plus 2i minus with 40 over 5 and we will have 8 negative 20i over 5 and we will have negative 4i so 4z is equals to kindly focus on the real part 6 minus 8 and we will have negative 2. Imaginary part 2 minus 4 and we will have negative 2 as well. So z will be equals to negative 1 over 2 minus with i over 2. Next, what we have to do is to find the w. So kindly substitute the situation z equals to negative 1 over 2 minus with i over 2 into the first equation so w plus with the z where we have negative 1 over 2 minus negative i over 2 equals to 6 plus 2i rearrange the situation so w is equals to 6 plus 1 over 2 plus with 2i plus with i over 2 simplify the situation so w will be equals to 13 over 2 plus with 5i over 2. The second part, we are going to express the situation z and w in a polar form. So kindly focus on z. So the location for z will be in the third quadrant. So where we have negative 1 over 2, negative i over 2. So here will be the basic angle alpha. Second step is to find the modulus of z, where we have the formula square root of a squared, where we have negative 1 over 2 squared plus b squared, where we have negative 1 over 2 squared. So simplify the situation and we will have 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, so which will be 2 over 4, or we can say square root of 1 over 2. And again, Simplify the situation, 1 over square root of 2. Do remember to rationalize the denominator. 
So the modulus of z will be equal to square root of 2 over 2. Next, what we have to do is to find the argument of z. So tangent alpha is equal to y over x. So in this part, the y is negative 1 over 2, followed by the next part, the x is also negative 1 over 2. So here we will have 1 over 2 over 1 over 2. Do remember, ignore the negative sign. So tangent alpha is equal to 1, where we have the basic angle alpha is equal to 45 degree, where we have the basic angle. So meaning that in here, the basic angle is 45 degree. Next, what we have to do is to find the argument of z. So the argument of z is equal to negative 180 plus with the 45. So we will have negative 135 degree for the argument of z. So do remember to express the situation in the form of radian. So where we will have the argument of z is equal to negative 3 pi over 4 or you may express your answer in the decimal form where we have a negative 2.36. Do remember express your answer in three significant figure. So in polar form for z where we have square root of 2 over 2 multiply with cos bracket negative 3 pi over 4 plus i sine bracket negative 3 pi over 4. So that will be the polar form for z. So the location for w will be in the first quadrant where we have alpha 13 over 2 plus 5 over 2. So here will be the basic angle. Next, what we have to do is to find the modulus of W, where we have 13 over 2 square plus 5 over 2 square. So where we will have square root of 169 over 4 plus 25 over 4. So finally, we have square root of 194 over 4. So if we simplify the situation and we will have square root of 194 over 2, that will be the modulus of W. Next, we are going to find the alpha or we can say the basic angle. So where we have tangent alpha is equals to Y, where we have 5 over 2 over 13 over 2. So if we simplify the situation and we will have 5 over 13 and we will have the basic angle 21.04 degree for the basic angle so kindly refers to the situation where we have the argument starting from 0 so this will be the argument of W so the argument of W will be 21.04 degree so we must express the argument of W in the form of radian. So if it's in the form of radian, the answer will be 0 0.367 radian. So do remember, express your answer in the form of radian and must be three significant figure. So as a conclusion, W is equals to square root of 194 over 2 multiplied with cos 0 0.367 plus i sine 0 0.367. So that will be the answer for W in polar form. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.